ex-millionaires of Reddit. What made you lose all your money? My dad lost everything but his tools and clothes in the divorce. Over the next 30 years built up enough wealth to own two local properties and a family cabin with 100 acres of land. 500k of investments. And a pension worth about 600k. Between the pension and his social security. His wife at the time of his death would make about 70k a year without touching anything. She sold one of his properties. And I had no fking clue what happened to the cabin that has been on my family for 70 years. I got nothing. My kids got nothing. But when she dies all her kids will get a split that money. I don't fault her. She's a very sweet person and my dad never wanted to face reality of death so never made the appropriate arrangements despite saying he would for years. He never got around to it so it all by default went to his spouse. My dad also kept each side of his family separate so we were never really in contact with each other. My dad is an ex-millionaire. He's a king wizard at starting successful businesses. His problem is he can't let them go. He's the boss owner who never hires a manager that's not family because he just doesn't trust anyone else to run it. He drove 3 million dollar companies into the ground because he couldn't keep up with his own success. And refused to hire people to do it for him. Hypothetical millionaire. I bought $100 worth of bitcoin when they were about $1 each. I sold them when they were about $2. 50 each and was so happy I made money from internet coins. As of the moment I am typing this those coins would be worth $1. 855. 000. A common template for wealth loss is underestimating the role of luck in the initial wealth accumulation. And. As a result. Taking irresponsible risks on new ventures and or maintaining lifestyles that overestimate future earning potential. I have seen this with some folks who made money in finance in the 80s and 90s. While extremely smart and hardworking. Their path to tens or hundreds of millions of dollars were also pretty lucky. Edit. At 330 upvotes and a bunch of replies. This comment is kind of a metaphor for what I am referring to. When the topic of wealth comes up on Reddit. The subsequent discussion about the role of luck almost always happens. In this case. I just happened to be the guy to make the obvious comment about luck on a thread that happened to get some attention. Appreciating that it took some basic effort to write it out and hit submit. My upvotes and replies have nothing to do with me personally. I watched a guy at a casino somehow get to loan against his house. About 200k and lose it. He looked suicidal. Apparently he was already in almost 50k and thought he could win it back. I got hired there. And I would leave on Friday and return Monday. And see the same people in the same clothes. Who pissed and shitty themselves and were still sitting at the blackjack table gambling. Gambling responsibly is near impossible for some people. And it's rough to see. Go to set your limits and stick to them. If you have $400 you can afford to spend. Then take out $400 and don't even look at your card again. Also. Just personal preference. But I won't drink a drop when I'm at a casino. Gambling addiction is seriously one of the worst. I go to the casino a couple times a year when I feel like checking out new slots and drinking some fantastic cocktails. Last time I was there. Walking through the parking lot. Some guy is having a refking full on argument shammer fest with himself. Kicking his truck, that was already dented to shit. Throwing stuff around the bed. Close to a meltdown. I caught a few snippets of what he said. But it was apparent just how deep in the hole he was when I heard 30,000 fking dollars. You fking idiot. Double quote. Suddenly my $500 loss over 7 hours didn't feel too bad. You know how to end up with $1 million after a year of day trading? Start with $2 million. My alarm clock that woke me up. If this isn't a pop culture reference. You're definitely talking about the Ferrari with the broken exhaust silencer that your son with OCD drives to his tradesman job. Divorce. I was a millionaire. Got divorced which nearly sent me to insolvency. Buckle down and worked my butt off and am ray millionaire. Guys. Don't underestimate the pernicious impact on net worth a bad divorce can have. 
No prenuptial agreement in place. I own 9 rental properties. All single family. We have it in writing that she gets one out of every three of them. In the event I purchased a new one and did not update the agreement as to which specific ones. None of my cars. Expect her daily driver. Seemed fair to us. Crypto millionaire. Still worth a lot. With my accounts about $850. 000 today, I have a lot of XRP. But in 2017 I was worth about 3. 5 million before the crash. Lowest was $300. 000. I'm a hodler so I don't day trade usually. My biggest regret. Is I bought about 200,000 ripple in 2013. But I got bored and put them for sale at 0. 0 01 C per ripple. As a pipe dream. They were worth like 0. 0 0 1 C at the time. I should have just left it. I could have banked some cash on it. If I just left it and sold KT at the peak. Gambling and spouse terminal illness. Somewhere here there's a billionaire laughing because they're an ex-millionaire too. I was a multi-millionaire for two weeks. Then the vacation was over and we exchanged our dongs for euros. Not me but an acquaintance. He got caught not paying taxes and dealing in stolen goods. He spent time in federal prison and lost everything. Including his wife. Crime does not always pay. We were close. Then the Great Recession hit. Lost 60% in 3 years. Just updated the balance sheet today. We're almost back. Who knows what will happen in the next 24 to 36 months though. I'd guess divorce. Maybe fraud as well. Trust me. If you ever win the lotto. Every person you have ever met, seems like, will show up with their hand out. If you want to test that. Post on your social media that you won a lottery and see what happens. Then. Let everyone know. You won $5. And. Then. Drop everyone who asked for money. I built a business worth 3 million. Had a house worth 1. 4 million. Investments worth more than 2 million. 4 nice cars. Divorce laid me low. An ex-wife. A lawyer. And a judge stripped me of at least 3 stroke 4 of that. Left me with a Miata race car. A bit of money and 51% of my company. Still had to pay alimony. I gave up. I negotiated my way out of alimony by giving up more of the company. Liquidated everything else. Bought a boat and f ked off. 26 months later I sailed back into my life and started over. I've earned enough to live a modest retirement. And that's where I am today. Don't get married boys. It ain't worth it. I've done it twice. The first time was a disaster. The second time was an annoyance. Just my opinion and experience. I'm way too drunk and shouldn't have posted. Anyway. There it is. I got pretty close by selling my company to a bigger competitor. Reinvested most of it since I had not much to use for the money but then got scammed for about half a million on buying some real estate. They smelled a newly rich kid from miles away. I still like to think I was worth a million at some brief point in time. Edit. Since people are asking. Basically I bought a fantastic holiday destination facility from someone who did not own said fantastic holiday destination facility. And with bought I mean a substantial down payments to keep other interested parties at bay. Classic. Technically not me but rather my family. My great grandfather was born to a long line of vicars who had land. Properties and farms. They were loaded. He was the rebel only son and swore that he would break tradition. So he joined the army and come World War II he was shipped off to fight for Britain. While overseas. He was captured and spent a few years in a POW camp where he subsequently found Jesus. After the war. He returned. Joined the clergy and. His father having died. Gave every single penny to the goddamn church. Land. Property and titles all. And lived of his vicar's salary. Obviously it was never mine to lose. But the knowledge that I could have been a lord with a horse and an affordable coke addiction really stings. First husband. Was making a million a year. 
He was enjoying life spending frivolously. But bringing in enough that it didn't matter. We divorced. But amicably. No alimony. No child support. He just paid for whatever the kids needed. Then he got leukemia. He fought like hell for 3 years. The last 2 years were very expensive. It was worth it. Money won't make you happy. But the lack of it can destroy you. The kids and I can take comfort in knowing that truly. There was nothing else possible. His millions bought his kids 2 more years of dad. And I'm glad for him that he enjoyed his life while he could. Covid. Built a business that was given a valuation of a few million back in January. But the industry is now down 80% and I'm doing all I can to avoid bankruptcy. A lot of people who win the lottery will blow their money on big purchases. Like a house or a yacht. Then they have no money left to pay the yearly costs of those items. And they lose everything. Invest all your money in safe stocks. Get a mortgage on a house. And chill the FCK out if you win the lottery. I work in finance and my team and I work with all very affluent clients. I've seen so many millionaires lose it all not from investing in the markets. But from. Taxes. Lifestyle and poor business decisions. Once had a client who was making 50k a month. But was spending 60k a month and perpetually dipping into his investments. There were months where payments bounced because he was living a lifestyle and always wanted more. My favorite investment advice. Same car. Same house. Same spouse. Not me. But a close friend's parents worked at a well-renowned American company in Houston in the early 2000s. They were really high up in the management chain and enjoyed a lot of the perks that came with their position. After sticking through thick and thin. Especially during the dot com bubble. Said friend's parents were also very good in managing their money. Living very frugally. And investing for their future nest egg. Unfortunately. Therein lied the rub. All that investment. 401ks. Extra cash. Etc. Comma was on a single pot. I believed. With all their allocation. Back in 2000s or so. They have had invested close to $5 6m and was due to pull it out so they could finally retire. And X200B. But a company scandal brought all that to a collapse. And X200B. The company? Enron. And X200B. All their money evaporated. I donated my wealth to Orbit All Dropper and highly recommend any millionaire reading this do the same. Oxy and Crack. $1500 a day habit got me high for a few years. Then the other half was when the dealers infiltrated and took me for tens of thousands at a clip. Oh and a sibling stealing 400k was a dent as well. It's truly a miracle I'm alive. 9 years removed and finally dug myself out and back on top. Kind of lol. My great grandparents were farmers and lived in North Dakota. In their prime. Their team and then were absolutely great farmers. This along with some other factors made them super rich. For an example. They owned multiple planes and even had a hangar built to store them. They also had a really nice house. Not a mansion. But a really nice and large one. Well. It turns out they were really great at farming but not so much at paying taxes. My mom's second husband was a millionaire. Our family and his first family treated everything as one big family. When he got cancer he set a very intricate and fair system. Then he appointed three people to oversee any emergency changes to his estate. My mom. His first wife. And her second husband. As soon as he died they voted against my mother to throw away his whole plan and just give them themselves the money. 50-50. Covid. My parents have tons of money in stocks and lost their millionaire status due to the crash that happened. I'm talking tens of thousands in a day at one point. Thankfully with the drug trials being successful they're starting to make back their money. Though it's still not where it was before due to the industry they have stock in being hit hard by the shutdowns. Make matters worse my father is at one stroke to pay since he works hospitality. Gave most of it away in the divorce. Took what I thought would be enough to pull a leaving Las Vegas. But Ben Sanderson had a big head start on me on the liver damage. So I outlived the money. 
Started over from 0 16 years ago. Halfway back. 12 years ago. I was making 95k as a software engineer. I was in an accident. Suffered a brain injury. Lost everything. And haven't worked as a programmer since then. My injury easily cost me a million dollars. My family lost tons of money with a failed business and bad investments and ended up with tons of debt and a bad financial situation. They weren't millionaires or anything though. I was a flight attendant and once had a passenger in FC out of Vegas who looked distraught. Handed me a 20 and said. Please keep the bourbon coming. In flight. He just drank looking down. I asked how he was doing. He said he was trying to figure out how to tell his wife he had lost their home gambling. That was the moment I decided I would never participate in a town that made its money that way. I'd like to add something because it's so ridiculous. My uncle and aunt inherited a lot of money. They paid to get a speedway fire truck restored that went straight to a storage unit. Wasn't even theirs lol. They took multiple trips to monster truck races. WWE events and the casino. The funniest thing of all was they needed a new car badly but decided against it. They blew through all their money in less than a year and are now making car payments. How fking stupid. A family member of mine has been a millionaire several times over. But he loses it on ex-wives. Fiancies and girlfriends young enough to be his grandchildren. They appear to require a lot of financial maintenance. Not sure if it really counts, not a million. And not really lost. But over the course of several months. I gave away what would now be a bit under you acute 200. 000 in Bitcoin while demoing cryptocurrency to various groups. At the time Bitcoin was worth essentially nothing, and I saw it as something that might be useful. Rather than a store of wealth. Comma so I'd help people set up a wallet. And we'd do some transferring of coins within the group and I'd give away some paper wallets with some nominal amount in them. It's mildly painful to think that if I'd have just picked up more initially. Or lost one of my wallets I might have a fairly decent sum of cash to play with. As it is. I have a slew of fragments of various different cryptocurrencies probably worth around you acute 100 in total. My ex's mom. Not me. She grew up as a trust fund kid in a tremendously rich Jewish family in New York. When she turned 18. She decided to see the world. So she moved to Israel. Then Iraq. Then France. She spent 30 years moving from country to country. Burning her money away like it was unlimited. But as it turns out. Trust funds are actually finite. And one day she found herself with just barely enough left to get back the US and buy a tiny house. Her family had at that point long since disowned her. So she had to get a job. Only. What do you do when you have no prior work experience? No credentials beyond high school. And you're 48 years old? Answer. Housekeeping at the local Best Western. Apparently. Until they fire you for rocking the boat too much, she proposed a bunch of changes within her first couple of months there. Most of which being rather expensive and offering no real benefit beyond I think it would look nice. Comma then. You drive a short bus for senior citizens. Until you turn the wrong way down a one way street. Panic at the sight of oncoming traffic. And steer straight into fire hydrant. Then flee the scene. Abandoning the company vehicle and its several now injured passengers. My cousin was a big rapper in the 90s. When I say his name you probably know him or heard his music. It is still used today in the USA. Anyway he became a millionaire really fast at 20 something years old after being a dishwasher. His manager made him sign bad contracts and almost all of the money after a year or two went to his manager and accountant. He is still doing okay producing some music in Los Angeles but not a millionaire anymore. Athletes, millionaires, are rich. Owners, billionaires, wealthy. Big difference. The average pro sports career lasts less than half a decade. 4 years at 500k dollars is the same amount of money as 40 years at 50k dollars. If they live big. As if the money would keep coming in. They're setting themselves up for failure. Covid and divorce. We were invested in a small brewery that did not make it through covid. 
we had two rental properties generating income in vacation spots that were shut down due to COVID. Had to sell one off at a huge loss. Ex-wife then wanted a divorce and raked me over the coals. I won the other rental in the divorce and that's about it. Three guys kidnapped me. Drugged me. And coaxed me into telling my social security number. They drove past me in a limo throwing money all over the place. Later the bank came and took everything I had. Except for a can of anchovies. I ate those anchovies with my friends and I learned a valuable lesson. Not me but my grandma. She started a shoe company. It became one of the biggest retails in the south part of the country. Then as her retiring days got here she passed it on to her kids who ran it to the ground. She came out of retirement and within a year she she got out of debt and made it profitable again then went back to retirement. They ran it back to the ground and even put a mortgage on her house. She let it fall and the company no longer exist. She saved her house with her saving and she lived a comfortable retirement from money on properties she owned. A family friend of mine had wealthy parents. Her dad had a terminal illness. And the family had to sell their mansions. Vacation homes. ETC to pay medical costs. And her dad didn't live very long. Despite putting every cent they owned into trying to help him. I think her mom is alive still. And taken care of by my family friend's sister. I used to work at a wealth management firm when I was just out of college. We had a client that part of my daily set of tasks as low man on the totem pole was to send this guy a breakdown of his earnings first thing in the morning. When I started he had about 10 million. And when I left less than 2 years later he had under 100 grand. Also by second week of work was when Lehman Brothers fell and the market crashed. Not me or anyone I know personally. But there is a Korean living in our country that used to have his own company that managed a lot of real estate like apartments, buildings, etc. He lost everything he had, around 6 million dollars, when he gambled it away at casinos. Now he's a street vendor selling instant ramen and noodles. My dad. Not me. When he was young in the 70s he wrangled other people into investing with him and bought a bunch of duplexes and fourplexes in San Francisco. Renovated them. And mostly sold for a profit. However. He kept some. I think my mom estimated at one point, this was over a decade ago too, that if he had just sat on the properties he owned he'd be taking in about $600 KMO. In rent. Instead he invested with his brother in a home gym company and kept selling off property to fund it. And then got nailed by the IRS for failing to pay taxes. When I was a kid he lived on a 30 foot sailboat because he'd lost it all. Grandfather and great uncle both went into the US Air Corps as bomber pilots. After the war. They both were offered prestigious high paying job flying for some airlines. Great uncle took the job. Made a fortune flying and then got in the car business. Becoming VP for a large American car company. Died rich in Jupiter. FL. Grandpa found Jesus during the war. Declined cushy jobs to go to the seminary. Preached Helen Mayhem as a Southern Baptist minister. As you can imagine I'm shit poor as my distant cousin's grimace about two year old Maceratus being out of style. Guy I know made a fortune during the housing boom in the 2000s. Took all the money he made and put it all back into the real estate market. Then housing crashed. He never recovered. A cousin of mine. He is a dentist that owns two firms as well as several homes. Made a lot of money. But also had a lot frivolous spending with a wife who also had a serious spending problem. Just an example. He had about 8 cars, for a family of 4. His wife eventually divorced him and took a serious chunk of his income. He lost one home to her and eventually his bad reputation caught up to him and had to sell his homes except one to prop up his failing business pay off all his debts. He sold nearly all his cars as well. It was definitely a shock to everyone. But me. Because of child support. He's essentially living paycheck to paycheck now. My ex was wealthy as a child. Her father owned a shipping company in South Korea and they had a very nice life until her mother decided to gamble all of their money on the stock market to the advice of some scummy experts. 
As much as that Sukchi often talked about how spoiled and ignorant they were being rich and it taught her a lot of valuable lessons being normal people again. I miss her but it's for the best we're not together. Welsh TI almost bought $1000 in Bitcoin at $1 per coin on the assumption that it could go up in price one day. I was like 18 or 19 about 10 years ago. Probably would have cashed out sooner but I really don't know. Hopefully I win the lottery one day Lmao. Not me but my grandfather. My family was very old money and made a lot of money through various businesses, specifically livestock. My grandfather was a spoiled kid who knew nothing about business and ran all of the businesses into the ground and left my dad when he was a kid. He grew up with a single mom and I grew up very blue collar. Hundreds of years of familiar wealth gone in one generation. Wild. My grandfather spent my trust fund. All the grandchildren, there's six of us, received one million inches trust when we were born. Then my grandfather lost his medical license trading in sexual favors for prescriptions. To make payments on 22 million dollars in properties he turned to drug running. Gambling. And stealing our money. He lost everything and was shot in his car by. We assume. The gang he was smuggling drugs for. I didn't know about the trust fund until I was a teen so not a big loss but my grandmother who lived a life of luxury never got over the come down. My dad flipped houses. Housing market crashed in 2008-ish. Little brother got born and needed to open heart surgeries, good ole American healthcare, and then my mom and him split. My dad. He was extremely successful early in his life. Skipped university and went straight to work. Had multiple businesses in his mid-twenties. Became a millionaire before turning 30. My three siblings and I had a very comfortable life. We had a very large house. Chauffeured cars and several house help. How did we lose everything? Gambling. A friend of my dad introduced him to gambling. And he was instantly hooked. Within 5 years we lost everything. We're lucky my mom had some savings and got a house of her own so we didn't end up homeless. Our life are much better now. Thanks to my mom. And all of us avoid gambling of any sort. We'd refuse even for a $10 bet. My parents are doctors. Back when we lived in Abu Dhabi they were at a level that they used to treat Bollywood celebrities too. They became homesick and came back to India as we constructed a huge mansion in line with the money they were earning then. After coming to India. They were not able to get themselves to do wrongful practices as is required in India and therefore had fights with top level medical people in the state and therefore have settled on a mediocre pay at a ethical small clinic. All the previously earned money was used up on building the house maintaining it. My brother made tens of millions over the years in property development. But it all went to shti last recession as finance companies started going bust and the receivers wanted to claw back the debts immediately. Followed by his richer friends offering to bail him out with loans. But in reality they just wanted to scam him out of what he had left. I am asking a real question based on what you stated. The feeling of unease. Often called imposter syndrome. I think it is real. But I want to know if in other people's experience it is insecurity or is in fact being an over your head. Whenever I see a question like this the answer is always imposter syndrome. And I think that's mostly hype. But you in absence of evidence otherwise. I am wondering if I am wrong I. My cousin. Not me. He pretty much owned the biggest towing company of his city. But there was one problem. He loved his wife so much he actually put the business on her name. Instead of his. He was the one that built everything from the ground up. Not her. One year ago they got a divorce and well she was actually a BTCH about it and even decided to put a restraining order on him to be away from the business. He no lost his house. He also put that to her name. His pet and all his business and now the dude that once was giving me money to go in a shopping spree. Is now the dude that asked me for 5 bucks the other day. Not me. But my dad's boss. He was a corporate executive in the finance world. Wealthy Affand was very well liked until they discovered he was embezzling from the company. Lost his job. Went to prison for a long time. Shortly after the crime was discovered. My dad was offered his boss job. Which he took. 
He was over the top transparent about everything. And I grew up hearing the cautionary tale told over and over again. My dad retired with a large company stock portfolio. Worth nearly 2 million dollars. Sadly. He never sold the stock, he has other retirement income, and today it is worth about 300k dollars. I had a wallet with lots of bitcoins I mined before bitcoins were even worth a penny. Hard drive got formatted and installed in a customer's computer. It's gone. Forever. Every time I think about it I get depressed. My uncle was a commodities trader. He was good. Had about 14 million dollars in the bank. He was also had some medical issues which caused him to need a hip replacement. He got a titanium him from Johnson & Johnson which was defective. It gave him toxic metal poisoning. Nickel and cadmium I think. Anyway. It really changed his personality and his judgement on general. He ended up losing it all over the course of a few years making really risky trades which was essentially gambling. My dad actually. This story happened a while ago. When he decided to invest in stocks. Beanie babies were a giant thing back then. And he bought tins of limited edition rare ones. He wasted tons of money. And sooner or later they had lost all value. He tried to sell them for some money. And later found a potential buyer. The buyer was willing to pay $700. Zero zero for them. Just some rich asshole with too much money on his hands. They set up a meeting. By before they could make the exchange. The collection burned down in a house fire. Moral of the story. Don't invest in crap. Trying to do something good after years in the financial markets. I built a recycling company and lost a fortune. Doing better now though. Different business. Don't invest money in something you don't understand. My uncle lost money by investing in sand or something hoping for big returns offered by a friend. He don't even know how this thing works. A family member of mine owned a scrap junkyard. A large tank full of chlorine gas was not checked first that it was empty and the employees got chlorine gas poisoning and he made them work until the ambulance came. He was sued and went bankrupt. Edit. I was told that their business was worth a million dollars. Not sure what they individually were worth. They used to do really well for themselves and after they lost it all they became criminals unfortunately. My grandfather. He had a successful business and had stocks going crazy. It was a great success but his success led to him having tons upon tons of side chicks. And when he died his side chicks claimed all his titles and money. Leaving none to his true family. My grandpa was the owner of one of the biggest clothing companies in Brazil. Making millions worth in dollars. He then starts to mess with some dirty polite etions becomes a really bad guy cheats on my grandpa leaves her for some young slut. Realizes she wants money and only that. Signs is will to give everything to her leaving my grandma and her 6 kids with almost nothing and my grandma now lives with us as she has nothing the bastard then calls my dad. Then shoots himself in the head in front of him on a bridge. Good friend of mine worked in film distribution. Completely broke now. You're not rich if you spend everything you make. If you make a million a year and spend a mil a year you're broke. His career died and he had no savings and a lot of commitments. Sad to see but luckily he knows some wealthy people who help him out. So we had a family friend who owned a pool business in Georgia. Very long story short he turned it into a pretty big business worth millions. Got into drugs and gambling and ended up stealing people money by quoting them for projects. Having them put down deposits. And then taking that deposit and spending it on hookers. Blow and gambling. Really not that interesting of a story. My grandfather was a millionaire for a good 20 years. He lost it all in a bad land development deal that was stalled by the recession in Canada around 1990. He was also a shitty dude who abandoned my grandmother and his four kids. Started a new family and never paid any kind of child support, while being crazy rich. Had a great time at his funeral though. Irish wake in a pub. My father's family had a plumbing company in Dubai. My grandpa passed away and my father inherited the company with his two little brothers. Later he met my mother and moved to Finland with her. He gave up his third of the company. 
The other two are doing very well with the company now. My parents are living in poverty with little to no chance of paying the bills monthly. In about 2000. I invested $10k into Google right before they blew up. I don't remember the exact number. But I know I was in at least 6 figures of profit. But I was only like 12-13 in a middle school economics class. So while I didn't actually profit. It got me an A on that assignment. Nasaria. Knew a lady at an AMPM that sold a lotto ticket with one number off. The customer complained and refused to buy the ticket. So she did, can't refund lotto. She won the jackpot. About 10 million dollars take home. Bought a bunch of land sand in Arizona you can't build on. Started a company. Burnt it down but had no fire insurance. Someone got burned really bad. Bought a bunch of cars and mobile homes. Now works at Walmart. My dad is an ex-millionaire. He was like a CEO or something of some tech thingy when I was a kid. I had all the coolest toys and the coolest everything back then. And was the envy of every other kids. What made him lose everything? He had to leave his job. Because there was no one to take care of his parents, my grandparents. My grandma wasn't very considerate about it. And he was literally given no option but to quit. My dad's other siblings did great in life. But my dad had to give up a lucrative job due to the stubbornness of my grandma. He never had a big time job after that. And had to settle for a low paying job. But he never compromised on me and my sister's education. And ensured that we got the best of it. A deceitful stockbroker who sold my stock without my permission. The stock he bought went belly up within a year. Was my first stock and didn't know that was illegal. A short few years later. The sec shut down the company. Blinder Robinson. My $3000 invested became $5. 125. 0, 0, 0, 12 years later if I still had it. And I would have. As I wanted it for newborn son's college costs. 17-18 years after birth. Still bothers me.